I want to enchant every single sword in the game, but in order to do so, you must have them upgraded. And I only got the one, the Yoru. So today, I'm on a mission to upgrade every single sword in the entire game in one video. Just thinking about the grind, honestly. I, I'd probably rather have toothpicks stuck into my eyeballs. But hey, entertaining you guys is greater than life itself even if I gotta subject myself to torture. But because there's just, there's too much material grinding, we're gonna be separating this into three Cs. Let's get to grinding. All right, let's start with the first sword that we're gonna be upgrading. Uh, this is the this is the OG Katana. Uh, for demonstration's sake, we'll just see like, all right, we just did 870 damage to that pirate. So you come over to the blacksmith right over here. He's uh, looking like Andrew Tate right now, bald as hell. And we're gonna be upgrading our katana. So we need some leather and some angel wings. I think that's what it is. And it deals 30% more damage. That's a big difference. You know what? This is why I've been losing in PVPs, guys. Everybody got upgraded swords except me. Crafted, no animation. That was plain. Okay, well, it doesn't look any different. Let's see if the damage is any different. Boom, 1,131. This is why you gotta upgrade your Guys, I know I haven't, but you should. So on to the first part of our very epic journey uh, in on upgrading every sword in the game. Uh, we're gonna need these materials. So it's gonna be a it's gonna be a ton of grinding. So what are we waiting for? Hey, if you also hate grinding, don't forget to use star code and you when buying Robux. Totally relatable. So it looks like I have more than enough leather, and I have zero angel wings. So we're gonna need to go kill some angels and cut their wings off, uh, so we can upgrade our. Sword. It's kind of evil if you think about it. All right, all right. All right, we'll kill all six NBCs. Uh, not a single wing. This is gonna suck. No, this is gonna this is gonna be terrible. Bro, are they that hard to drop? Not a single wing? Oh, guys, we might just scrap this whole video. I don't think I can do this. This is crazy. <laughs> One wing after like 20 NPC kills. We do the math quickly. Um, we only need to kill like a thousand of them to get 54 wings. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So I grinded for all of the angel wings, but as you can see, I also grinded for all the other material as well. Just to speed things up a little bit, and uh, I really should be doing this in the first C, because that is more fitting. We're doing first C swords, come on, and you. What are you thinking, man? Let's take a look at my material. Angel wings, 54. Scrap metal, I actually only have 99 because you can only hold 99. We gotta get one more after this. Fish tail, we got 24. Radioactive material, 20. Might have gone a little bit overboard with the magma ore. Uh, actually, I already had 97 for some reason, but that's definitely more than enough. So starting with the cutlass, let's see what damage we could deal right here. Boom, 958. That's already better than the katana. So the upgrade is also 30% more damage. Boom. All right, that was 958. This is 1,246. Okay, so the colors is stronger than the katana, confirmed. You guys probably already knew that. I'm like the last person to find out. All right, dual katana. Okay, that was 1,100 and something, 22. Now, if we hit this upgrade, another plus 30%, uh, almost hit 40. Another 30% in damage, so 1,458. Woo-wee. The moves are clean, guys. The moves are just clean. This is the perfect time to upgrade all your swords, I'm telling you. All right, next up, we're moving into the rare category. Uh, we got the Iron Mace, all right? Boom. So these swords actually do get stronger progressively as time goes. All right, we're gonna hit that upgrade. Boom, 1,501 hit. So are all the upgrades plus 30% in damage? Shark Saw, did the moves get changed? Oh yeah, the moves are nasty. Hello. Ah! There's the upgraded shark saw. We're really speed running through this. Triple katana is next. All right, let's hit him. Boom. Only get it. <laughs> Yo, that skill goes hard. All right, here we go. We're gonna upgrade this real quick. Now we're getting into the yeah, we're getting the scrap metal territory. Ah, look at that. Look at that beautiful. Oh, look at that beautiful damage. Only get it, great one. Only get it. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, 2,800. That's strong. Okay, dual head of blade. Only 100 mastery. Come on, and you. Why am I slacking out here? 1547. Woo! These moves are getting so nice. 
All right, what are we looking at? Still just 30% damage. 25? It's getting less? 3K? Hoo-wee! I'm not gonna lie, it's very tedious collecting all of the material up front uh, to upgrade all of the swords, but it just, it's so satisfying just doing them one by one without having to wait. So next up, we got the pipe. I mean, this thing after revamp has been completely changed. These moves are so clean, guys. Come on now, you gotta, you gotta upgrade this. 25% additional damage. I'm gonna kill it in PvPs. Y'all gonna see. Ooh, got a scrap metal. Okay, I don't have to grind for it. That's good. All right, we got the soul cane now. Ha! Huh. Man, I forgot how nice these look, guys. I, I know I keep saying this, but come on. All right, let's hit that upgrade. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. Yeah! Bro, almost 2k off one M1 attack. Can y'all believe that? Trident? Boom. Water pose! 3,000... 458? Did I read that right? 3,401. Yo, this thing is strong. All right. How, how much better is it going to get with the upgrade? I mean, this is pretty much like a... It's like a math lesson, honestly. There we go. 2,300 off one M1 attack. 4,200. 4,300. Can I have more? Warden sword. This thing is long as... It, look at that pose, though. Look at it from this angle. Look how long it looks from this angle. That's what she said. That is what she said. Bam. Whoa, the M1 is trash. Hold on. What happened? Whoa, what happened? Ah! Okay, the X move is kind of strong, but damn. Warden Sword kind of sucks. Damn, that skill is nice, though. That skill is clean. Next, we have the Basento. This is a legendary sword, guys. This is a whole nother league now. All right, we got 25%. <laughs> There's like no cool stats regular upgrades give. You got to go with the, you gotta go with the enchantments, guys. Am I potentially hinting at a future video? Better subscribe to find out. All right, Windbreaker, Jace. Jace! Okay, the Bicento goes hard. Oh my God. Now we're gonna upgrade our pole first form. I don't know if for what reason I would ever use this, but if I, if I ever do decide to, I would, I would have the upgraded version. <laughs> I was weak. Maybe that was a mob attack, but damn, that was not it. All right, me with the upgrade. Honestly, even with the revamp, not very impressed. But uh, that's why we have Pole V2, right? Speaking of which, let's move on to the Saber. Y'all thought I was going to say Pole V2. Yeah, right. This is the final sword, also a legendary, in the first C uh, that you could obtain. Deadly Rush. 1709. And I'm not even using hockey. Let's upgrade this baby. All right, let's take a look here. Bam. Nice. Ah, uh, Divine Departure! Oh, I love Shang so much, guys. Excuse me for getting hyped. Guys, with 14 swords upgraded in the first C, we are now ready to move on to the second C, where the swords are much stronger, but the upgrade material is much more harder to collect. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get into it. And when I say it's gonna be a lot of fun, I mean it's not going to be fun at all and extremely painful and tedious. So just, just want to make that clear. But that's why you guys got me, you know, I do these things so you don't have to. <laughs> so for the second C, you're going to need all of these materials, the most of which are leather and scrap metal. I'm going to try to grind them from these pirates as fast as I humanly can. Let's see how long it would take me to get to 90 of each. In order to speedrun this as fast as I can, I'm going to switch uh, over to the rabbit race so I can just dash over. Oh, first try, let's go. Alrighty, guys, one scrap metal. Oh my God, I'm too fast. I can't control my speed. Hey, we're getting these fast. Oh man, if you guys ever need scrap metal and uh, and leather, be sure to grind at these uh, these brutes and pirates. The drop chance is so high, guys. I'm starting to get motion sickness from just flying around the map so damn fast. I don't know how long I can last, guys. I just want to show y'all real footage. I'm playing this at regular speed. This is just how fast that I move. I promise you that was not sped up. I do not fake gameplay. That was a hundred percent authentic fake. So for the sword upgrades in the second C, we also do need more fishtail and uh, radioactive material. I'm going to spare you guys the boredom and unlock them just like this. See? That was easy. 15 fishtail and 10 radioactive material. Those are easy, right? Now we got to move on to the hard stuff. The vampire fangs, the, the meteorites, the, the mystic droplets. All right, you, you don't even want to know what kind of substance is in those mystic droplets. You, I know, trust me and I'm never gonna tell you. All right, uh, let's start with the meteorites because uh, it, it is, I only need three of them. So let's just get that out of the way. 
And they spawn only from Fajita, so kind of a little bit of pay to win over here, which is, you know, I'll always love a bit of mwah, pay to win. It's beautiful. All right, here we go. Hey, there's a meteor, right? Who said money can't buy happiness, huh? Okay, how many vampire fangs do I have? Okay. Now, I have zero of those, really. Well, I need 28, so no time to waste. Let's get this. So the vampire fangs have a 3.5 to 7% drop chance. I don't know what that means. I don't know why they couldn't average it out, but okay, well, there's one. I have a feeling we're going to be here for a while. Yeah, I've been working on this last vampire fang for quite some time now. Just can't seem to get no luck. I don't know why, guys. I don't know what it is. It's always the last one. They've been teasing you with it. They tease you. One eternity later. That is just wild, guys. That is so wild to me. You know, at some point, it's like, should I give up? Like, when you, but you, when you've come so far, you want to give up so bad, but you just can't because you've already committed. The next day. I'm shutting the server down. Something's glitched, bro. This server, this server is glitched. I don't know why as soon as I turned on the camera, things just started to go south. Maybe it's because you guys are watching. I'm gonna blame you guys. Watch I get it like the first try in this new server. Watch. Ooh! I thought it wasn't gonna happen. Do my eyes deceive me? All right, you know what? I don't even have time to celebrate. We got so much more shit to get, man. Let's continue. All right, next up, we're supposed to be collecting Mystic Droplets, uh, which I think is over... Oh yeah, over there, over at that skull. So, well, we have nine and we need, uh, we need 54. So, 45 more. All right, well, well, let's get into it. Please be easy to drop. 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 Nope. It's not very easy to drop. Yeah, this is this is gonna suck again. All right, new server. Same terrible luck or new less terrible luck? Guys, resetting server works. I'm telling you. If you're not getting the drops that you want, after like 30 kills, just reset. Works like a charm. Just need one more, ladies and gentlemen. I hope they don't pull another uh, vampire tooth on me with these mystic drops. Mystic, mystic droplet. Drop me the droplet. Come on. Why y'all gotta do this to me, Blocks Fruits? Indra's like in my house listening to how many, uh, how many of these drops I need to deliver. Yes, let's go, baby. Never mind, Indra, I love you, bro. Mwah. Let's get this dragon scale. So let's see how many I have, actually. Wait, let me just make sure. Dragon scale. I have 11, so I need four more. And apparently, you can only get them in the third C, which is really weird because it's like a, we're, we're doing second C swords, but hey, I don't make the game. You know, I, I, I don't know the logic behind it. Four dragon scales. How long could it take? It's not going to take long at all. Yes, there's one. ka -ching! Hey, another one. There's another one. Guys, we just need one more. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there it is. The finisher. That was a that was a knee slapper right there. Starting with the dragon trident. Uh, we're going to test this out on this NPC here. Boom. 2,500. Damn. Oh, these moves are clean. These moves are so fresh. Only 8% damage. Ugh. Ugh. That was not worth it. That's all? I mean, it's, I, yeah, it's pretty strong, I guess, but could make it a little stronger. Uh, Gravity King now. Like, I guess once you upgrade all the swords, then um, the, the common ones might just be as strong as the legendary ones because these ones don't get that much of a boost. There's Dimensional Grass, Lunar Blitz. Yeah, get blitzed. Whatever that means. We're going in. Oh, okay. This one gets 13%. Nothing makes sense. Okay. A little stronger. I like it. All right, next. We got the sword that I absolutely do not care about. It is it is the Jeet. As you can see, I don't even I don't even have all the moves. I, I just can't be bothered, guys. I really can't. See how weak this thing is. Okay, it's not bad. It's all right. Okay, here we go. 18% damage. <laughs> Should have been 80. Still probably wouldn't use this, this garbage. <laughs> Wait, what damage did that deal? Okay, a little better. All right, longsword. This one looks crazy now. This one with the whole, with the whole leaf theme, the, the, the grass theme. Off, Shavi went off with this VFX. Damn. What are you gonna give me for this? 23%, it just it keeps going higher. Started at eight, now we're at 23. Still kind of weak, high key. Next up, we have the Coco. All right, let's go with the M1. Not, oh, look at that stance though. Injection shutter! Forgot that's what it looked like. Set your heart ablaze. Go beyond your limits. I'm in the wrong anime. Injection shutter! 
Yo, he gets bounced off the ground too. All right, now based on the previous uh, upgrades, I would guess that this one is gonna go by like 25% of the 13, back to 13. Okay, all right. Let's aim that right at his right at his head. Kill shot, baby. Okay, midnight blade. All right, M1 damage, very similar to the other ones. Oh my god, yo, all these swords got sick poses. That looks insane. Okay, no, we gotta upgrade this. Give me my upgrade. Thirteen percent more damage. Honestly, guys, I wasn't even paying attention to the numbers. Let me know if it's thirteen percent higher down in the comments below, cause I don't. I don't know. All right, moving on. We have pole V2. Here, one shot, boom, 25th, 69. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, Hand of God, Electric Prison. The revamp, uh, they, didn't go, they didn't go too hard with the revamp, I'll be honest. Damn, this thing needs three materials for only 8% additional damage. Y'all can't complain though, cause like the pole V2 is kind of OP on its own. Y'all don't really, like nobody really even use it uh, to deal damage. It's more of like a, like a stun sort of thing, right? Personally, I don't care too much about it, but I am very excited for the next one we're about to upgrade. Y'all already know what time it is. Set your heart ablaze, for real this time. Now we're in the right anime. Rengoku, baby. Oh wow, that was, that was incredibly weak. Ooh, oh my God. Goodness, look at that. Oh my good, the comp. Oh my goodness, light him up. Burn! Burn to death! Burn to death! I hope you suffer a slow, painful, burning death while your loved ones watch. I don't know. I am evil. Wait, what did that even. What was the. What did the upgrade give me, guys? I wasn't paying attention. I just want to watch him burn. It's so satisfying. It feels so good. Look at that. Mm. That's what you get for wearing shirts that's too low. I can see your boxers. All right, uh, next up we got the three legendary swords, Sari, Wando, and Shisui. We're just gonna like, we're just gonna blaze through all of them just because of, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, you know what? We're not gonna blaze through them all. We're gonna take our time with it. Let me do that again. <laughs> Put them in the meat grinder with that one. Okay, what about the Wando? Which one's better actually? Let's find out. Okay, the uh, Z move isn't as cool. Dragon Dust? What the hell? Okay, no, that wasn't that cool either. The Shisui's gotta be the nastiest one. It has to be. It has to be. Wow, that was sick. Ah, I don't know, bro. I don't know. The Wando might take this one. I thought the Wando, uh, the Wando was the most whack. Oh my god, bro. But the Onigiri is so sick. No, that's the that's the Shishi Song Song. Wait, we gotta run that back. That's the Shishi Song Song. Shishi. That should be a one-shot kill, bro. Zoro has not pulled that shot and not defeated his enemy. Okay, we're gonna go with all three at the same time. Here we go. 10% on the Shisui, 12% on the Wando. Okay, so they thought the Wando needed a bigger, uh, bigger boost. 69 leather. <laughs> yes, sir. Yo, I just might use the sword more. It's actually so dope. I love the gold color theme. I love that Z move. I love the X move too. It's clean. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. My personal favorite sword in the entire game. And because my uh, favorite represents all of you guys, that means it is everybody's favorite sword in the entire game. And that is the true triple katana. That's right. Sexy. Just sexy. When you can describe something so perfectly with one word, you know it's perfection. Beautiful M1. 2420. That, that's actually pretty bad. That's pretty sad. But the attack speed is very fast, so it makes up for it. Now we got the Wolfang Rush. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that pose. Oh. Now it's taking the last of my materials before I gotta go out and grind some more. We have to upgrade it. I didn't even see what boost it gave me. I didn't even see it. But it don't matter. It's just that good. Wah! On to the thirsty. So onto the third C, uh, these are the material that we're gonna have to get in order to unlock every single sword. I've gone ahead and collected some of the first and second C materials. So I have enough leather to cover all of our upgrades, but in terms of scrap metal, we need 170, which is insane. Anyway, we're gonna use up all of our scrap metal, go back, get the rest of the 71. I have the 20 fish tail ready, more than 14 dragon scale. Got the mystic droplets on deck. All right, I, I just kind of went away for dinner and just auto clicked for like two hours. We do also need demonic wisps, which I got a lot of from collecting bones. Speaking of which, we got a hell of a ton of bones, okay? We don't need to farm for any more of this stuff anymore. 
Uh, thank God. And we do need one dark fragment. Uh, I got 96 because I'm just a baller. What can I say? So the only two items that we need to farm are the mini tusks and the conjured cocoa. I know from just from first hand, these cocos are impossible to farm. So it's not going to be very fun. Start with the mini tusks. So it looks like they're dropped by uh, these mythical pirates 2.5 percent drop chance oh my god 58 is crazy on two to five percent drop chance all right about to kill the whole crew here without a single drop all right we're having fun we're having so much fun i want to die hey there's one knock it off the list all right so obviously this is gonna take a very long time so with the help of a little editing magic uh we're gonna hit 58 tusks right now boom see that 58 tusks uh it only took like what two and a half hours of grinding i guess i'm just hardcore like that uh i think these dudes these dudes dropped the conjure coco all right uh looks like all of them are here um why don't we just get started all right, but these things are, are a little bit stronger, probably. All right, so those ones over there also dropped the Conjure Coco, but these things are very rare. I've, go I've gone like 20 minutes without getting a single one before. Ooh, right off the bat? Am I getting blessed by Indra? <gasps> Am I getting blessed today? I apologize for ever talking to those chocolate bar warriors. They're the best. Dude, dude, the chocolate bar battle. <gasps> this is the place to be. Come on, Coco Warriors, can you redeem yourself? Let's go! Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm not even mad at that. I'm in too good of a mood to get mad at that. All right, I'm not gonna let that drag me down. All right, Conjure Coco, we got 16, baby. Let's hit the Blacksmith. First sword, we got the twin twins, no, twin hooks. All right, Mr. Blacksmith, what are you gonna take from me? 8% additional damage, that's pretty weak. Wait, ooh, we almost forgot to do a damage test. Bam! All right, you guys, you, you guys just read that. I'm not going to bother, like, counting it. Here we go. Quick, hurry! He's attacking me! Ah! Get off me. You suck. I got upgraded twin hooks, boy. Okay, slightly stronger. All right, buddy sword. Oh, so this is the sword that needed all them damn cocos. All right, plus 8% damage buddy sword. You already know it ain't no competition for you. What? Did I miss that point blank? Staring right down into his single eye because he only has one. Let's get rid of the other one for him, too, shall we? <laughs> Where did this man get blasted off to, bro? All right, Camander. Boom. 24, 22. Love these skills. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yo, this thing's already strong as heck. All right. Yeah, these eye patch dudes are kind of strong, man. Oh, take that. Oh. Yeah, nice try. All right, Dark Dagger. Yeah, guys, if you can tell, I'm not feeling as enthusiastic about these upgrades anymore just because it's like, they're just the same thing, you know? At least I think with enchantments, you could get different stuff. Oh, this is the one that needed the Dark Frag. The one thing that's the toughest to get, I have the most stuff for some reason. All right, Proficient Impale. <laughs> it's nice to see... <laughs> Dude got launched. Oh, it's definitely nice to see the revamp skills in, in action. They're very... Oh, actually, no, this one didn't get revamped. It's one of the few. All right, next up, we got the spiky, spiky trident. All right, this one definitely did get the revamp, though, Hurricane. Nope, no, actually, no, this one's the same still. Okay, we're looking at 7% increase in damage. Okay. Can y'all let me know if these, uh, these things work at PVPs? Like, you know, it increase your damage in PVPs too? That makes a big difference. Toshida, 600 mastery. It's every day, bro. All right, plus, oh my God, dude. These are the ones that need all these damn tusks. You're the reason I'm still not asleep yet and it's 1.30 a.m. in the morning. You stupid Tashida. All right, next up, we got Tashida 2.0, the better Tashida. I don't even know that's true, guys. Maybe maybe the Tashida's better than the Yama. But yo, just off that M1 attack alone, I don't know, man. I don't know. This thing does crazy damage. Dude, 3K off of an M1 pre-upgrade. Another 20 tusks. Takes me an hour to collect 20 tusks. One second to waste it all. Damn, that damage is so nice. All right, Hollow Scythe. Dude, I have all of these swords at 600 mastery, by the way. I literally no life third C when it dropped. Look at this. All right, right off the bat, Yama's already stronger. Okay, okay, 800 bones. This one takes a lot of material. All right, here we go. Oh my God. See ya. All right, we got two left. You already know. Uh, first, we're gonna hit the CDK. Probably my second favorite sword after the uh, the T the T the the T T T 
TTK through Triple Katana. Oh, look at that M1 damage. Look at the revolving rep. How could this not be the best sword in the game? All right, let's hit the blacksmith. Ah, oh, see, now, now this is where I start running out. I start running out of them scrap metals. I need 71 more. So before we can upgrade the next two swords, we got to hit the pirate village again, guys. All right, so uh, so in no time, uh, we're hitting 99 scrap metal. And honestly, I'll be honest with y'all, I can't be bothered to go back to the third seat to do this. We're just going to do it right here. Lucky for us, there's a blacksmith. All right, plus 7% damage. Good God, the CDK is going to go off. The M1 spamming is going crazy after this one. Damn. Okay, uh, this was sick, but we did leave one last sword to upgrade before, you know, we can call it a day. And that is, of course, the new one we just unlocked. The Shark Anchor. So, uh, yeah, why don't we go ahead and wait. <laughs> Look at my guy just gently patted the dude on the shoulder and he died. Okay, yeah, 351 master. Oh my god, I forgot how sick this looked. Well, what the hell, boy? A giant anchor just sinks into the ground. The final upgrade, plus 7% damage. On the shark anchor, there we go. We've got, <laughs> we got one tapped. I believe that is every single sword minus the true triple Yoru, which I'm still waiting on. I'm not going to do every gun. Couldn't really care too much about it. But if you guys want to see that, let me know, I guess. But anyway, all of this hard work and upgrading every single sword was in anticipation for a bigger video that I am planning. And I'm pretty sure you can already guess what it is. And if you're interested in checking that out, be sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on so you won't miss it. But I am going to miss you. Peace.